Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the WP Google Translate plugin, which is a plugin which allows you to translate your website in, into over 80 different languages. So the first thing to do is to head over to the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. And you want to scroll down on your active premium resources until at the bottom there you will find WP Google Translate. And you just want to click download plugin files. I'm going to save that onto my desktop. And from there, you want to go to your WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins and then add new and then upload plugin. And you want to choose file. And I'm going to select WP Google Translate, the zipped file I just downloaded. And you then want to click install now. And WordPress is going to upload and install the plugin. And from there, you just need to click activate plugin. And now you have the plugin activated. And you'll see on the bottom left hand side, you've now got this extra menu, which is WP Google Translate. And this is where the options are stored and what we're going to have a look at now. So you'll see here we have uh, general options and styling options. And under general settings, um, you see we have the default language. And you can get Google Translate to detect this, or you can let the plugin pick it up by itself. So I could either have detect language or set to English. You also have the option for Google Analytics tracking. And ticking this will track translation statistics with Google Analytics. And to use this, you need your Google Analytics tracking ID. In order to find that, you want to log into Google Analytics at google.com forward slash analytics. And from there, you want to go to the admin tab. From here, you want to select your account and your property and then scroll down to tracking info and then tracking code. And here you will see that you have your tracking ID here and you just need to copy and paste that into the plugin here. And that's going to enable tracking of translation statistics. You can also choose whether to include or exclude mobile browsers as they may not handle the display particularly well. Um, so that checkbox covers that. And you can also choose whether to show the translation button on your site automatically or whether to use the widget or a menu item instead. So if you leave that ticked, you can choose the button position here, top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. And if you have that unticked, then um, you can add a menu item to your top menu. Um, and you can choose the text here. I'm just going to leave that with the button and we'll have that on the top right. If you click save, then that's going to update our settings. And if we just head over to our styling options quickly, and you can choose between these predefined style sets. Um, so for example, we might go with an orange one here, and that's going to set these uh, different button colors and different font colors to um, these predefined set here. You can, of course, change those individually, and you have a nice preview here. Um, so we might go with the dark styling option here and click Save Settings on that. Now when we visit our website, visit our blog, we're going to see on the top right we've now got a Select Language button and um, clicking any of these is going to uh, translate the site automatically into a different language that we've selected. And this will be obvious to your users. I'm just going to show you what the uh, button looks like if you've added it through a widget. So you just need to untick show button and click save. And then if you go to appearance and then widgets, and then if we scroll down here, you're going to see that we have a WP Google Translate widget has been added. Um, so if we drop that onto the top of our sidebar and then have the text translate on that, then if we just load up a page to see our sidebar, going to see at the top of the page you have a translate button and the option to translate by a drop down here and again that's just going to work automatically when the user selects the uh, different language and you also have um, as I've just explained the uh, menu item which you can also have I'll just show you that very quickly so if we um, add that there and click save just tick the box um, now, if we have a look at our top menu, just refresh that page, you're going to see you've got a language option there. 
and that pops up on the side. So you've got three really powerful options um, as well as your Google Analytics tracking. WP Google Translate is really simple to use. If you have any queries, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with one of our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.